They're currently at $3.16 a share. Yahoo analysts project they, project they can move up to $6.08 a share in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 92.40% increase. Hey guys, welcome to May 20th through May 24th of 2024 winning stocks. Um, as those of you who watch this series are aware, I like to start out with the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ, so that we get an idea of how the markets were moving in general this last week. So if we start with the S&P 500, we'll see it moved up through the week and moved down through the week. But it ended in the same location where it started at by the end of the week. Now the Dow is a little bit of a different story. We see the markets after taking a little pause from moving up for a while. It's been moving up four straight weeks, but this week it moved back. It lost all of the gains and some of the gains that it, all the gains it made last week and some of the gains it made the previous week. But the NASDAQ, it actually moved up the last four weeks like the last two. But it moved up last week as well. It moved up for a fifth week. Um, not much, not significantly, but it made them um, move up as well. So having said that, let's take a look at the stocks on our watch list. And we start with Biogen. Now, I like to break the stocks on my watch list down into three tiers. Three stars, which is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, which is beneath that. One star, which is the least fundamentally sound on the watch list, but still fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list. Well, Biogen is a three star, the most fundamentally sound. They have an earnings report dropping on July 23rd or later that week. And an earnings report is sort of like a report card for companies. And when they drop, it can sort of be like going to a casino. The earnings report comes out and it's good. The stock price can really jump. If the earnings report comes out and it's bad, the stock price can really drop significantly, which we'll see with one of the companies that are, is in our this week's winning stocks this week. In any event, Biogen is currently at $217.81 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $283.92 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 30.35% increase. Next we have Excellus Technologies. They are a three star. Currently, they have an earnings report dropping on July 31st or later that week. And they're currently at $111.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $144 in the next 12 months. That would be a 29.29% increase if that happens. Notice they moved up a couple of weeks. And they've sort of been in a sideways pattern since then. We want to see what they do moving forward. Zoetis Inc. Zoetis is a two star. They currently have an earnings report dropping on August 6th or later that week. And they're currently at $170.07 a share. 
Yahoo analyst estimate they can move up to $213.70 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 25.65% increase. And notice they've already come a bit already. One, two, three, four positive weeks already. Then they moved back a little this last week. Next we have Market Access Holdings. They are a three star. Now they have an earnings report dropping on July 18th or later that week. They're currently at $216.89 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $235.67 a share in the next 12 months. If they do that, that would only be an 8.65% increase. Now for those who watch my analysis apps, or my analysis stocks. You see that I do all of my analysis on spreadsheets. I find stocks that are at their annual low price and they're fundamentally sound. And I, when I find those, I look for the opportunity when they start to move back up. That's when I buy them and that's when I let you know about it so that you could take advantage of that as well. Well, I currently have an app being developed right now that does all of that analysis for you and presents it right for you guys. It's not completed yet, and there's a lot of changes to be made, but I'm just showing you guys a rough draft of it, of what's already put together. So the first thing is, I can choose different options for the app. I want to choose companies that bought back stocks for the last five years. And their current assets are greater than their current liabilities. I'm going to do total assets greater than total liabilities as well. Although that should be a default and it will be. And changes to the app and what the app will do is it will go to look to all the stocks on the 52 week low that day and for those who have at least three years of positive earnings three or more years of positive earnings it's going and meets all the criteria that you said above it's going to present them to you so i can look through the earnings of these companies over the five years and as i'm going through the scanning this list quickly i'm going to say epam epam systems when i see one that i like earnings 453 587, 852, then it dropped back a little, 732, 721. If I want to take a closer look at it, I click here. And it will tell me what the company does. Presents the earnings to me again. The high and low prices for the stock for the last five years. And then the P ratios and what percentage the stock increased over that year. It prevents presents some statistical data to me and then below income statement, cash flow statement, and balance sheet. So like I said, there's a lot of things to be changed in it. There's a lot of things to be added to it but i'm just giving you guys a brief view of what it's looking like so far 
and it should be available in like two weeks for you guys to get. In any event, why am I presenting this to you now? I'm showing this to you now because the beginning stages of this app is already done where it finds these stocks at the 52 week low and shows you their earnings per share over the five years. And all of the stocks that I'm going to present to you in this week's winning stocks from this point moving forward were showed to me, brought to my attention by this app. So the next few stocks I'm about to present to you were brought to my attention by this app. So having said that, let's move forward and take a look at them. And we have Semler Scientific. They are a three star. They currently have an earnings support dropping on August 8th. Notice they're moving sideways in the room. They're currently at $23.32 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $40 in the next 12 months. That would be a 71.52% increase if that happens. Then we have Bruge Energy. Now for Bruge Energy, I don't have all the data. That's why there's no star rating. But I do have the earnings per share. And from what I see with Bruge Energy, they just had an earnings report that dropped. They're currently at 93 cents a share. Yahoo analysts don't provide an estimate, but my estimate based on P-E ratios that they can move up to $3 a share in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a $222.58. 222.58% increase in the next 12 months. Then we have Information Services Group. They have an earned support dropping on August 1st. Once again, no star rating because we don't have all the data on them, although we do have the earnings per share. They're currently at $3.16 a share. Yahoo analysts project they, project they can move up to $6.08 a share in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 92.40% increase. We have Heritage Global. They are a two-star. Currently have a Earnings report dropping on August 8th. Now they are currently at $2.35 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 98.72% increase. We have Innovative Solutions and Support. They are a three star. They have an earnings support dropping on August 7th or later that week. And they are currently at $6.39 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $8.31 in the next 12 months. And if that happens, that'll be a 30.04% increase. Now, Myers Industries, they are a two-star. They currently have our earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. And notice these last three weeks, but especially this one, which was two weeks ago, this long candle, 
they've dropped dramatically in those three weeks. They're currently at $15.35 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 95.43% increase. Now, why did Myers Industries drop so dramatically back here? Well, we see Myers Industries, Inc. just missed earnings per share by 72%. Here's what analysts think will happen next. And you see the article, as you might know, Myers Industries, Inc. last week released it's latest quarterly and things did not turn out so great for shareholders. Unfortunately, Myers Industries delivered a serious earnings miss. Revenues of two hundred and seventy million two hundred and seven million were fourteen percent below expectations. So it was because of a previous earnings report that they dropped so much. And although this app has been presenting a lot of inexpensive stocks to me, it presented this one as well, Lululemon Athletica. They are a three star. Now they haven't started moving back up yet. But they're sort of a big name, so I said I'll present them early to you guys. You want to watch and see when they start to move back up. They currently have an earning support dropping on June 5th. And they are currently at $303.01 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $445.44 a share in the next 12 months. If they do that, that would be a 47% increase. So that's it for this week's edition of this week's Winning Stocks, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great day.